Wow, what a flight. First of all, I guess the most controversial takeaway for me from this flight is that. Before we get into the video, I wanted to show you guys one of the coolest airport hotels in the world, the Crown Plaza Changi. The hotel invited me for a complimentary stay in April, so I figured I'm gonna show you guys just a little bit of it. Singapore Changi Airport is already one of my favorite airports in the world, so this hotel complements it nicely. If you book a runway view room, you'll get unobstructed views of the tarmac, and just like most major Southeast Asian airports, you'll see almost a majority wide body aircraft taxiing past your hotel room. You can also use the gym or chill at the pool during your Singapore layover, which is a pretty awesome way to relax and stay healthy between your flights. So that's it, now on with the video and Singapore Airlines business class couch. What is up, you guys? What's up, travelers? Hello. From Changi, I am the only passenger. That was a weird feeling, I thought this walkway had stopped but I think it just started when I got on because I am pretty much the only passenger in sight. I am taking one of the last evening departures from Singapore heading all the way to Europe to Istanbul and Istanbul's brand new airport. It will be my first time to the new airport so I'm super excited about that. Is it weird that I'm vlogging with two hands? But the even more exciting part is that I'm flying Singapore Airlines long haul today on the 777-200. This is the last plane type I haven't flown in Singapore Airlines fleet. It's also the last business class product I haven't tried. So after this flight, I'll have them all ticked off the list. So as always, this flight is paid by me, so it's a completely unbiased and honest review. If you wanna see how much I paid, don't forget I always put it, every single video, in the description. So today is also my first time ever using Book the Cook. What's so funny, if you've seen my Singapore Airlines A380 first class review, I actually said cook the book, which people had fun with, so it's book the cook. It's my first time ever ordering it, so I'm excited to see what the food is like on this flight. Also, it's my first time flying the kind of wide old Singapore Airlines, eco uh, not economy product, business house product. You can tell I'm tired, right? Yeah, the seat is so wide by the looks of it, it's like a couch which is, yeah, it's gonna be a good night. So come with me as I fly Singapore Airlines long haul from Singapore to Europe. Let's do this. All right, you guys, welcome to my Singapore Airlines throne for the night, 17K, which has a missing window. Oh no, but we have a nice window back here with a good view. Starting this flight, just like the last one, with some orange juice. Cheers, guys. So who's ready for a tour around the seat? The seat is so big that I've just taken a while exploring it, like checking out all the different compartments, what they do. So I think I have a good grip of where everything is. So let's see. Obviously the first thing is this. We have a tray where they put drinks. And then over here, the classic Singapore Airlines mirror. <laughs> then here on our right side, a little storage compartment, safe storage compartment, a charger, but I don't see USB, maybe that's elsewhere. Then over here we have a huge storage compartment, and back here, another very big one which no one can access. Now, here's a good touch from Singapore Airlines, you can hang your headphones over here. And where do we find the headphones, you ask? Well, they are stored right down here. Isn't that clever? So we have these Great noise cancelling headphones, super comfy that Singapore Airlines uses. Here we have another drink tray, and then let's move the pillow. Here is the tree table, the in flight literature. Then <laughs> my stuff is just getting everywhere. Here's where we will end up putting our feet uh, when we sleep. So you kind of have to sleep diagonally in Singapore Airlines business class, which some people find a problem, but we'll talk more about that later. And then down here, is where we are supposed to put our feet and maybe something else, not sure, um, now. <laughs> if we want to stretch out, yeah, we can go either way. And lastly, to the left, we have a few seat controls and a remote. So something that shocks a lot of people is that even on super long haul flights, Singapore Airlines does not give amenity kits. Instead, they give everyone this stuff. By standard, we have socks, eye shades, and 
slippers. This is waiting at everyone's seat. And then the rest of the amenities are available on request. So you can ask for earplugs or whatever else you want. They have a huge amount of options. Honestly, I don't mind. It is fun to get an amenity kit if it's nice. <laughs> LOL, you guys, look, the seat is so wide. Look where the seatbelt is located. There's this much space, and then comes the seatbelt. <laughs> So here we are about 40 minutes after takeoff. The meal is being served. This is my meal from Book the Cook. I'm gonna see if I can find a meal description somewhere. But yeah, this is my dish. We have some cabbage, bean curd, noodles. Looks really good and it's so cool to be able to pre-order even vegetarian meals from the menu. So uh Bon appetit. So I know some of you guys are probably like, Daniel, what the heck, why is that meal so basic? Where's the appetizer, everything? Well, the dinner service on these midnight departures from Singapore is generally very basic, even in first class. So I decided just to skip the appetizer. I went straight to the main course, which is what I ordered. I'll see if there's dessert, but for now, I'm gonna dig into this because at 2 a.m., this is really all you need. You saw on the menu, they have a bunch of different snacks. So if you're hungry during the flight, if you don't wanna sleep, you can get that as well. Alright, who's ready to see the bed? This is the insanely wide bed in Singapore Airlines business class. What do you think? So you lie to the side. I have, of course, as always, my USB fan when there are no individual air vents. I also have some electrolyte drink to keep me hydrated during this night flight. And uh, yeah, two big fluffy pillows. Very excited for sleep. Okay, so what type of airplane sleeper am I? I'm the type who always wears earbuds and of course an eye mask. So these are my essentials. I'm gonna put them on in a second, but I just wanted to say two things. First of all, there are very mixed opinions on Singapore Airlines business class bed. Some people hate it with a passion. They say it's the worst business class bed in the world. For me personally, as someone who sleeps on my side and who likes to move around quite a bit when I sleep, Singapore Airlines has the best business class bed in the world. Because look, look how wide it is. Look how much space I have. Also by my feet, I have plenty of room to move around. It's not restricted on the top. You can see there's several kind of steps here where I can put my feet 
but overall it's just super comfy. Also added bonus, the two really soft pillows. You can even go like over here if you want. There's so much room to move around. The bed is super comfortable, so I'm just excited for a really nice night's sleep. Good night, you guys, and I'll see you probably somewhere over the Middle East. Alright guys, breakfast time. I'm a little surprised that they make us up a thousand miles from the destination. Good morning, I slept so well. Honestly, one of my top three airplane sleeps ever. The bed was so comfortable, so I feel super well rested now. The one thing that kind of confuses me is why they have to wake us up two hours and 20 minutes like from the destination. I think that's a little too much on an overnight flight. One and a half hours is usually standard, but let's see what's coming for breakfast. Check this out. We have fruit, some seedy bread, and here is the main course of breakfast. I ordered just standard oriental vegetarian for breakfast. You can see we have some noodles plus some sweet chili sauce over there. We are nearing Istanbul, we're about 20 minutes out and boy am I ready to go to the lounge and shower and refresh. I got ready, what could it be, like probably 30 hours ago this morning in Bangkok. I spent the entire day there and if you've been to Thailand you know how hot it is so it's been a long day. Wow, what a flight. First of all, I guess the most controversial takeaway for me from this flight is that I didn't quite remember that much from when I flew the 777-300 in the new business class that's similar to this on Singapore Airlines. So I didn't quite remember what I thought about that. But seriously, this time, I love the bed. I know people complain about it. I know people say it's weird to sleep sideways. But for me, I slept so well. It was one of my best airplane sleeps ever. The seat is so wide, it's perfectly padded because what they actually do is they fold the seat over so you don't just recline. The back of this seat is actually what becomes the bed. So the bedding is already pre-made. It takes one second for them to just flip it over and you're literally ready for bed. You can sleep on either side. And as you see here, the seat belt on the other side is so perfectly made for sleep because I'm always so bothered when, I mean, first world probs, but when you have this type of seat belt, because it's so unnatural to have one of these things right over your like stomach while you're sleeping. Meanwhile, this harness was very loose and whatever way you lie, it wouldn't disturb you, you wouldn't feel it. And it feels like a much more logical thing to wear in your sleep anyway. So the bed for me gets top marks. I think I'm gonna conclude a bit more about the rest of the flight once we land. But for now, just super, super happy. Um, gonna look out the window at my epic engine view and um, yeah, see you in assemble. Okay, what's up travelers from Istanbul? Um, I landed, I don't know why I said what's up travelers, that's weird to say at the end of a video, but um, anyway, to give my remaining thoughts on the flight, um, it was great. The food Singapore Airlines has among, if not the best vegetarian catering in the world, in my opinion. The service was five stars always. As I said, I slept so well. So if you haven't tried Singapore Airlines' traditional business class on the 777, A350, um, basically anything apart from the new A380s, I recommend at least giving it a try because who knows, you might be one of those people like me who sleeps best in this type of seat. 
Also, the entertainment system was great. I watched Sweeney Todd, which I remember watching when I was younger, and I like remembered nothing. Weird movie, but um, anyway, I also have some very controversial thoughts on Istanbul's new airport. So if you aren't subscribed already, make sure you hit subscribe because I'm going to be letting you know um, a few warnings about the airport that I wish I had known before I came here. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and until I see you all next time, fly safe.